So now we will try to change some variables and classes to improve a bit on the layout for some screen devices. So let's uh, resize the browser. Now, as you resize the browser to the small screen, the width of the left sidebar here is too narrow. You notice that? Let's try to change the grid columns for this sidebar. Let me see. Inspect element. Let's change it to four columns. And that's look better. Okay. Of course, the main content area from nine columns to eight columns. Now it looks better. But if you have right sidebar as this, means both sidebars as this, then it may not be ideal. Now instead of changing the grid columns, we'll change the grid for device from small to medium this time. Let's try. From SM to MD. Good. So let's scroll down. You can see the stack one on top of another. Okay, let's make these changes to the page template and variables. Let's open the text editor. Open sub theme folder. Templates. Let's open page.tpl.php. Now this one is the page template. Let's scroll down and find where the sidebar is. Yes, the sidebar first. This is the left sidebar in the primary region, if you remember. So let's change this from small to medium, SM to MD. This is the main content column. Its CSS class is actually available. Output by the PHP code is dynamic. Now remember you have two sidebars here. It depends on how many sidebar exist. And this main content area will respond accordingly. We will change this variable later. Let's scroll down. Here is the right sidebar, sidebar second. So let's make the changes for this as well. SM to MD. Even though we are not using this sidebar, but we will keep it for your future use. Okay, let's update and save it. Now let's change the variable for the content column class this time. We are going to change the assign value to this variable. Alright, let's open the bootstrap base theme. Theme, System Folder. Here you can find many functions and variables you can override. Okay, if you remember, we came here earlier to copy the page template file. That is page.tpl.php, right? Now let's open this page.vars.php this time. This page contains the variables for the page template. Now you can see here there are several variables you can find in the page.tpl.php, right? Sidebar first, primary nav, secondary nav. On the top here, we found a variable for our content column area. It's inside the page preprocess function. Honestly, you will need to know a bit of PHP to understand what this variable is doing. This is not meant for the beginner actually, but that's okay. We will make some simple changes with the minimum coding just to show you what you can do on a theming level. All right? Now if you know a bit of PHP, it says here, if this sidebar first is not empty, and this sidebar second is not empty, which means both sidebars present, then it will display this class. All right? This class will be assigned to content column class variable. Else, if sidebar first is not empty or sidebar second is not empty, in other words, only one of the sidebar exists, then the content column class will be this. Alright? Else, if no sidebars exist, then show the full 12 columns all together for the main content area. Make sense? It's not too difficult to understand, right? So we are going to overwrite these classes from small to medium. But not here. We are all write it in the sub theme. So let's copy this whole function to the sub theme. 
Start from the command here on the top. Scroll down to the end of the function here. Let's copy this. Let's close this base team folder. Back to our sub team folder. Open template.php file in the base directory of the sub theme. Right? That's here. And we'll paste it here. Now, first of all, we need to change the theme name to our sub theme machine readable name. Our sub theme machine readable name is bootstrap underscore sub theme. So we we'll just need to add a sub theme underscore pre process page. If you are not sure of the name, just look at the theme folder name. That's exactly the machine readable name for your theme. If you don't name it correctly, it won't work. All right. So this one is important. Now, since we only override the content column class variables, let's remove the rest to clean it up. Delete. So make sure you have this last closing brace of the function included to avoid error. So must be careful with the syntax, all right? We have a opening curly brace as well as a closing curly brace. So let's replace all this small grid to medium grid. Let's save it. Back to our site. Flush the catch. Let's inspect element, resize the browser, it looks great. Let's inspect element, now the classes has been updated from SM to MD, great. Now you learn how to overwrite the variables on the page template. So let's proceed to the next.